Hi everybody, this is Tina with Two Chicks and a Cricket, and I just have a really quick tip I want to share with you guys. Um, it's sort of about stamping up, but you could apply it for other things. Um, I really love to match, so I love on my scrapbook pages and my cards, I always try to match everything. I try to um, match my, my title font to the font that I use in my journaling. <clears throat> It's okay, shut the door. And so when I discovered this tip, um, I really, really like loved it. And the one thing that I really like about Stampin' Up! is you have the ability to match all of your stuff. So you can use the same color pen with the same color paper with the same color ribbon. Just makes things super, super easy when you're trying to... Um, uh, coordinate your pages. So what I have found is this really cool, um, this really cool tip. So it's the RGB codes for stamping up and I want to show you guys how to use that on your computer. So I have this master list and it's just done in a Word document. You can't quite see it. So and it just lists all of the codes and I'm going to show you there we go we're in focus now so I'm just going to show you what how you can use that and why it would matter so I'm on I have my computer here I'm just going to open up my word document in my word document is where I do all my journaling so as you can see it's open and I'm just gonna put some text up here as if I was journaling. So I'm gonna make this really large for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So you can see I have my text on here and then I'm going to show you guys how you would use your RGB codes. So what you would do is you would highlight this text and you would come um, up here to your, let me zoom in a little bit. So I'm right up here where all my colors are. And you would drop your color box down. And so now I have my color box down. And I'm really sorry I keep hitting the camera. This is a little more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. So then you go down to where it says more colors. And you would click that. And then in this box, you're gonna see a tab right here that says custom and you're gonna click on that. And then right down here is your RGB codes, which is red, green, and blue. So say I'm doing a project and I am using Tempting Turquoise as my ink color or my paper color or whatever. So on this document right here, you see Tempting Turquoise, and then right here you see the RGB code. So what you would do is you would plug that code in to this box right here. Let's go down. So I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to show you guys what will happen. So then when I hit enter, it changes my color to tempting turquoise. So now my font or my journaling or my sentiment on my card is going to be in tempting turquoise, which is going to match my project. So that is a really neat um, 
way to do to use your computer and use those RGB codes to um, match your stuff. And if you have an Imagine, you can punch in these RGB codes to your Imagine and you can use these colors um, on your Imagine. So if anybody's interested in these RGB codes, I have this document. It's just in a Word document and I can send it to you guys um, if you'd like. And then it also has um, this particular document also has the um, if you're into, you know, if you have a blog or whatever and you want some of these colors on your blog, it also has the um, web color code that you can use, which, you know, that's just for fun. I just happen to have that on there. So um, this goes all the way back. I have the 2010 and 11 collection and then I have the end colors from 2011, 2010, 2009, 2008, 2007 and then I also have some retired colors on this document from 2010 and 2005. So it covers a pretty um, so anyways, broad I hope range. that that so is interesting to somebody other than me. Maybe there's somebody else out there that likes to match like I do. So just leave me a comment or email me um, at two chicks cricket at live.com if you want the document. Thanks guys for stopping by.